two-day vacation to Myrtle Beach. So this is, uh, I'm actually already in the campground. I'm already set up. As you enter the Myrtle Beach uh, State Park, uh, you'll come to a reservation center here for the campground on the right. Uh, these folks are great. Um, we were on our way back from Florida uh, last last March and uh, had reservations. Unfortunately, I had a problem with my slide, so we couldn't travel. And it was like the day the day of the reservations were. We were to arrive and so i called and talked to the ranger and he said talk to the reservation center and they, they fixed me up that's actually why we're here right now in september they allowed me to move those that reservation to september uh, which of course was very helpful and then we made good use of it so uh, great people i'm going to go inside and see if they'll let me do a brief interview well unfortunately they were not able to give me an interview but um, they have certain rules and regulations. You know, I get that. Uh, but you can uh, look online. If you Google South Carolina State Park Reservations, that'll take you there. And then you can actually see the sites. You can, uh, it'll give you a lot of information about it. And you can also call the office. The folks here are very helpful. So definitely a park worth checking out.
um, at different times allow horses here. I've seen that quite a bit also to take on the beach. And uh, they will typically will unload here. Over to the right is a walkway and also a trail to the beach. The campground is set up on a series of circles. It's a, it's a pretty large campground. I think they have about 300 sites or so. We love camping here in the in the uh, winter on our way to Florida and also we're, we're here in September now. So I just want to show you this is uh, actually the second loop. The first loop goes around the Ranger Station. I'm just going to do a drive-by of some of these and show you um, what some of the sites look like. Uh, very nice shaded campground the majority of it <clears throat> as you work your way back there are six loops our uh, unit is over here on the left I'll come back and show you our campsite later um, they have full hookups they have water and electric they have some tent camping it's just a little bit for everybody Nice bathrooms, there's some laundry facilities here. <clears throat> and in the park itself, there's a lot of activities for uh, nature centers and um, some guided discussions, things like that. So that's a second loop <clears throat> which we're in as you work your way back through the campground. It's more and more, uh, well, it's shaded everywhere, but I guess a little bit more shaded near the back and probably uh, a little bit more wet usually. So we like to stay up closer to the front. It's closer to the beach. All different sizes. This, this park can accommodate up to 40 footers. Probably I've seen some uh, different phaetons here. There's a new mar. Uh, there's some big ones. There's some big fifth wheels. And again, everything down to 10 campsites. They have some regular staff here uh, doing maintenance throughout the park. And then they have some, um, I'm not sure what they call them, campground hosts maybe doing different activities. There's one that checked us in at the reservation office. So I talked with one of the workers and you can do that for different periods of time but they have some for the summer season and some for the winter season so each six months long but I, I don't think you have to to do it for six months but you do get free camping if you, if you do that so something to look into if you're interested if you're a South Carolina resident they have great deals have huge discounts on the sites here so that's awesome if you live here my cousin does but he has a home so all right that's loop six and that's what we're going to do as far as the drive through of the campground itself i'll do a little walk around as well so this park is open year round which is very nice beautiful park all different times of the year um, this is a sidewalk that leads down to the beach and over to the right it leads to different areas that you can get views of the beach area so here we go all right how was the water great it was great yeah very yeah good. okay nice very warm. refreshing you went in Oh, oh, of course. Yeah. yeah. That's why you go to the beach, right? <laughs> exactly. But uh, rip currents. There's a very strong, strong, strong current. But very you're strong good current right now. Yeah. You're good. good. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. Great. Uh, water temperature. Go over here first. This walkway will take you down to another section of the beach. The uh, red flags have been out since we've been here, so it's been a lot of high surf and uh, riptides. Um, I don't 
I love the beach, but I don't go on it too much on our trip usually. Um, my daughter's been spending a lot of time out there. Um, I'm on a swing now, which is a good respite for me on my walk down here. I'm gonna go down where these folks are walking down here. Okay, here's the end of the walkway that turns into sand. Pretty windy down here, so I'm not sure how good the sound is going to be, but as you can see, the surf's a little rough today. I don't know how far I want to go. Okay, here's uh, checkmybeach.com with a scan code. I don't know if you can get that. I'm assuming that will tell you what the conditions are down here at any point in time. Okay, we're heading down to the beach from the parking lot here. They have some shelters down here. They have some bathrooms. And they have these different uh, boardwalk stretches that will take you right to the beach. And uh, so it makes it very accessible for folks. I don't know if they have a spot for an area for people to get down there that are on wheelchairs or anything. But this is very nice to access the beach. And again, this is private for the state park. As you can see, a large long area there's some condos down there that's actually the city of Myrtle Beach and we are uh, south of that there's a pier down there also hi there Hello. how are you good hot yes pretty hi. warm beautiful out there Fred. very nice yes Enjoy your day. thank you you too and so Nothing like the sand in the surf, as you can see. Folks enjoying the beach. As I said, a little warm. Just having fun here. How about you? Having a ball, living a dream. Living the dream, baby. There you go. Hi. All right. Hi. How are you? I'm good. And you? Great. Good. And this is the pier that you can access over here. It's, it's uh, mainly for fishing. So, no pets are allowed. I have a little dog, Izzy. Couldn't take Izzy out there, but we can bring her all down here. And Izzy's not a big fan of the sand, believe it or not. So you can't beat camping on the beach. And uh, again, Myrtle Beach State Park is, it's pretty nice. So we enjoy it here. Uh, I would highly recommend it as a place to, to visit, to camp any type of RV that you have, or just to come and spend the day. I mean, um, you know, for $8 a day, you get close parking to the beach, and you can come right down here and enjoy the, the sand and the surf. Nothing like it. Okay, I'm walking along the boardwalk uh, that they have here. It takes you at different places along the beach. They also have a lot of uh, uh, educational things such as this. There's uh, those who like thrill rides, there's helicopter rides about two miles away from here and two minutes away, whatever. $20 per person if you want to get a helicopter ride. I think they take you out over the ocean and back. So it's pretty cool. There are some cabins to rent in the park as well. Very nice. Um, screened in porch so should be a really good time here's a typical campsite uh, they're all sand generally pretty flat uh, the one we pulled in we didn't have to do anything at all uh, usually have water hookups electric and some are full service they'll have sewer hookups as well well shaded picnic table firing you're good to go some of the sites are very deep. As you can see, this is a big uh, Winnebago. I don't know what the size is of this Class A, but it's sit 
way back in there and plenty of room so you can really get a lot of big units in here they do have some playgrounds for the kids as well has some nice facilities here there's quite a few bathhouses throughout the throughout the park with showers uh, some have uh, laundry facilities also so very nice uh, the actually the bathroom right next to us is a new one that they built it's actually air conditioned it's really nice Right, we are on our way to Merrill's Inlet. This is the place to come for seafood in Myrtle Beach. We got a number of restaurants that are going to be coming up here. Uh, it's really busy in the evening. Big biker bar over there, and there is a motorcycle rally. I know uh, Harley Davidson Diller was close to us at the campground there I can see there's, there's some sort of rally here this weekend so big destination for bikers so that's going on and we're heading down to the restaurant area number of restaurants down here uh, we had dinner at an Italian restaurant sort of near the end of this Uncle Mikey's which was fabulous they were able to accommodate us. We had 18 people that night. Of my of my cousins getting together, and it was really good food. I highly recommend it. Reasonable too. Things here on the way to what I would call Restaurant Row. It's it's actually the Marsh Walk. There's a large boardwalk outside these restaurants, and you can walk all along the outside of the back of the restaurants. Go in the restaurants. There's patio bars, things of that nature, and you can watch the shrimp boats come in and things like that out of the inlet where a lot of the seafood is gathered. So the marsh walk is awesome. Alright, we are going to Drunken Jack's tonight, which I have never um, been in or had dinner there. Here's Drunken Jack's. Usually a parking across the street, and here it is, Drunken Jack's parking. Let's hope we can find something here. Alright, here we go. Alright, we're here, so time to go in. A lot of the camper vans that we've seen on this trip quite popular again great to be mobile and you know to get around very very easily you don't need a tow car these are pretty simple to drive anywhere like <clears throat> this unity over here we had some folks we were talking to earlier it's theirs uh, this is ours a little bigger um, and we do have a tow car, my Fiat, but this uh, works a little better for us as we're staying longer uh, each year, it seems. So that seems to work a little better for us. Well, just sitting here in the campground in Myrtle Beach and, uh, with my daughter Jess, and you never know, she's trying to get out of the picture, you never know what you're going to run into here at the campground in Myrtle Beach. So it sounds like my neighbor. I think I'll go over there and see if he doesn't mind me getting a little video of him. Well, again, you never know what you're going to run into in Myrtle Beach. That was pretty cool. That's our neighbor. He uh, actually used to play with Alabama. It's been nice here. It was really hot when we first got here and now it's cooler on uh, the 70s got up to 80 again today but uh, very nice it's about five o'clock on uh, Sunday park was full uh, no vacancies uh, for the whole weekend during the week you have some spots open some people left Sunday night Well, we're wrapping up our time at Myrtle Beach State Park. Uh, we were here for about a week, 
seven days, I think, a couple of days down to travel, a couple of days back. So nice little trip. Uh, really enjoyed it here. Always do. Uh, again, usually we're here in the winter. This is the first time we've been here in the summer for a couple years, and it's it's well, it's, it's fall really in September, but pretty nice. Uh, so great place to visit. A lot to do in the area. We're gonna. Um, be heading down to Merrill's Inlet again to eat some of the best seafood in South Carolina. So, gotta enjoy that. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you uh, learned something about this campground. Look it up. Uh, if you like what you see, please give me a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And this is Bobby C and the RV signing out.